On WLWT, a need for a law enforcement boost in greater Cincinnati now turning into legislation. Ohio Congressman Greg Landsman is proposing the bipartisan bill designed to recruit and keep top talent. We spoke with Landsman about the impact it could have back here at home. It will help our communities recruit and retain uh, officers, uh, sheriff deputies. An old struggle with a new solution. There's so many times when we think, why is that rule the way it is? And this is one of those moments where it's like, well, let's fix it. Democrat Congressman Greg Landsman is talking about a newly proposed piece of legislation endorsed by both parties. The bill's goal is to expand the current hiring program and allow local law enforcement to use grants for recruitment and retention bonuses. It would be welcome news for police departments like Cincinnati's, which is currently down more than 100 officers. I think pay is the biggest issue across the board. Uh, when we are looking at labor shortages, uh, pay is the number one issue. Amberley Village Police and Fire Chief Rich Wallace says it's a good start, but he says half the challenge is finding the right candidates. A lot of the young people we hire now may not last the police work that long, maybe five years. And we make, we make a big investment financially with uniforms and training and everything else, you know, and it gets costly. Costly and competitive, Wallace says the law enforcement need is leading to departments finding help from nearby cities. Now it's not just in Hamilton County, you know, picking out of Claremont County or Butler County or Warren County. It's, you know, we're not only stealing that way from each other, but people are going further away to Columbus or Cleveland or even out of state. A part of this legislation changes the grant application process from once a year to once every five years. That way they don't have to be resubmitted so often. Congressman Landsman says the next step will be making the process itself even easier. And Middletown.